Yo, I, I, wah, wah. Tish your boy, Jadon, legendary. You saw the thumbnail. You saw the title, folks. It's time to get racist. All right. Now I know some people are probably thinking, what in the world? Look here, folks. I've been playing this game, believe it or not, since I was but a child. The year was 2005. The age was nine. I was playing the dang game, dude. I've seen the release of every expansion and every new race. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell, share with people join the legendary, legendary clan sports channel to become legendary. Look here, folks. We got them all in order of their actual IDs. So oldest being the human, the newest the being the thick dang. elf, all right, or the horonier as they're called, all right. Plain and simple, folks, you already know what we're about to do. We're about to rate the racist and probably be pretty racist, okay? Now, you're probably thinking, a black man being racist. Time is due, okay? Somebody... <laughs> All right, let me stop, yo. First up, we have the human. The humans, they're pretty cool, you know? They're a good, solid race why because if you can't think of a design for anybody else the human is the most straightforward hey just make a human and boom you got an easy mage easy rogue easy warrior whatever you're trying to create they're pretty straightforward i mean it's a human it's something we all recognize straight off the bat so i'm gonna put them in solid okay they're solid next up we have the orc orcs I'm going to have to give them solid. They're also pretty solid. Anytime you can't think of a, like another hoardy to make it anything, just create a green food. It would be easily creating a warrior, a rogue, or whatever. Now, if you're not the biggest fan of bulky shoulders, they got that so A, you know? There's that if you don't like bulky shoulders. But they're overall pretty solid. Next up, we have the dwarf, okay? The dwarf for me... Not too bad. I've had a fair about of a, a fair amount of dwarves. Therefore, I've had two male dwarves. I had two. I have two female dwarves. They're pretty fair. You know what I'm saying? They're not the best ever, but they're definitely far from the worst. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be everyone's taste of character, but at the same time, they have pretty dang great customization. I can't lie. They got some pretty fantastic customization. Okay. Next up, we have the night elf. Okay, the night elf, as y'all know, I have a million night elves, but I have to say this first the night elf female's new model is great, the night elf male's new model, not so much. I liked the older male model, they were more rough, rugged, forest tracker look. But I'm still gonna have to put them in best ever because that doesn't change anything. It's the night elf, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the undead. Okay, the undead. I mean, I can't hate on the undead. They're pretty fucking great. Undead rogues, both male and female rogues, look incredible. Undead male warriors look absolutely immaculate. Like you can't go wrong with an undead. Honestly, they make great looking warlocks. They make great looking shadow priests. Uh, amazing warriors. Amazing rogues. They just overall pretty swaggy, pretty grimy. Shoot. Hey, some might say pretty grimy. Let me stop. I couldn't think of nothing. Uh, <laughs> next up, we have the Torn. I Torns, they're not quite as versatile as everybody else that we've said on this list so far. But if I got to keep it a hundo, I've always loved the Torn, especially the male Torns. They're the great, they're the greatest. Also, shout out to Torment for making these icons for us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, otherwise, we wouldn't be doing this right at this moment of time. It'd, it'd be happening some other time. Although I don't think the upload would matter much. For Torns, they fit a lot of the bigger classes good, but they also fit the lighter classes pretty well. A torn, a male torn makes great warriors, great paladins, okay? But the female torn makes great druids and, 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 and yeah, great druids. I'm not sure what else they can be at the moment. 
they just make great druids anytime you ever saw a druid back in the day that was absolutely style on styling on you as horty it was always going to be a torrent was it because that was the only option at the time yes but as time went on trolls then got to be druids too so you can count that as well next up we have the gnome the regular gnome gnomes are disgusting okay keep them away from me if you think you're gonna get me to play a gnome you're sadly mistaken i will never play a gnome ever again you know the last time i played a gnome it was the year 2005 i was nine years old and me and my sister and my brother were acting like we were the gnomes were kids and we were trying to run and discover the world that's the last time i played a gnome think i'm lying you're wrong next up we got trolls trolls pretty dang fair i do not mind the trolls at all uh, i've had a few trolls i have uh, uh actually i have a couple of trolls um i do like the female trolls more than the male trolls but that don't matter too much because regardless they're pretty fair male trolls make great warriors great rogues female trolls make great rogues great druids you know what I'm saying they are pretty dang swaggy and they have great customization in the modern day next up we got goblins goblins they i they they cool i personally would not play a goblin however i don't dislike them they they i you know what i'm saying you'll never see me play one unless i'm just trying to get transmog options like i'm gonna have to do soon because there's a lot of stuff in their starter zone i never got they not bad but they're definitely not great i wouldn't create and play in level one that's for sure but they're not nearly as bad as the gnome Next up, we got Blood Elf, okay? The Blood Elf, I mean, it, it, this one should be pretty obvious here, folks. This one should be pretty obvious. Do they fit all of their gear well? No. Do they fit all classes well? Not exactly, but it's a Blood Elf, okay? As simple as that, hey, dislike me all you want, okay? But one thing you can't dislike is a little blood elf all right a little blood elf you know what i mean they swaggy they got great customization the males make great rogues the females make great rogues okay the males make pretty good paladins the, the females make pretty great warriors they're all around a good near perfect all right come on you thought it was, you thought it was gonna be anything let's get the frick out of here come on man look next up we got the draenei the draenei near perfect as well come on dude it's the draenei they make amazing warriors the females now get to be rogues well i mean male and female but the females look better as rogues because they're taller lankier skinnier you know what i'm saying as for the males they have always made great fantastic warriors and paladins how can you not when you're 500 pounds of muscle on hooves built like a refrigerator right and because of the modern day, you now get to make miniature Eridars who are still extremely powerful if you're great at what you do. They're near perfect. Come on now, they're near perfect. Simple as that. Next up, we got the Wargen. Wargens, the males make great rogues. The females make great warriors. The males make great druids. The females make great druids. Would I personally ever play a Wargen? Yes and no. I would play a male version. I wouldn't play a female version. They're meh. They're not that bad, but they're not that great either. I personally wouldn't make one, but I'd be quicker to make one over a goblin. Would I? Nah, probably not. But they're not horrible either. Okay. I've had a couple of wargens here and there. Their starter zones are great, if that means anything. They aye. They aye. They, they're meh, you know? I wouldn't make one, but I wouldn't be opposed to making one either. Next up, we got the filthiest race in the entire game. Uh, nothing more is to be said. We are the disgusting, dude. Look, look, you see what that says? Nasty. And anybody who plays them needs to be caged like the animal 
They're playing. <laughs> do pandas need to be caged? Real pandas? No. Let them be free and do their thing. Although I'm pretty sure somebody said they're kind of dumb so they get themselves killed. But these, these Warcraft version of the pandas, lock them up. Put them in extinction. Extinction, right? Get ready to annihilate and disappear them off the face of Azeroth. That's what needs to happen. Okay? Next up, we got the Nightborn. Nightborn? They're like the older elf before the elf became, uh, you know, less uh, 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 high uh, society uh, sort of elf type of thing, you know? Are they as great as the night elves? No. They aight. Uh, you know, they don't fit clothing as well as the night elf. The night elf fits clothing a whole lot better. Their builds, their everything and whatnot. Though I can't lie, they do make great looking hunters because a hunter, you know, you would think of a hunter as a taller, slimmer uh, type of person or a shorter, slimmer person so that they could sneak around easier, right? And whatnot. So they're not horrible. They're not bad. I would, I would create, I have one or two of them. No, I got one, but you know, they're, they're pretty fair. They're pretty fair. Would I create one? You know what? Actually, no, we'll put them. Nah, nah, we'll keep them there. I, I'm quicker to make a troll or a dwarf than I would them, but they're not bad either. We'll keep them right there. Pretty fair. Pretty fair. They're not too bad. Next up, we have the High Mountain Torn. High Mountain Torns are great. Okay, they are not bad. Would I make one over a regular Torn? No. But believe it or not, my eldest priest Torn, Kadon, he actually started life as a high mountain torn, but then I wanted him to be a regular torn instead. High mountain torns, pretty cool, pretty cool. They got a lot of good options, a lot of great options. And it makes them fare different from the regular torn counterpart, okay? Next up, we got void elves. This one should be pretty obvious. Near perfect, dude. It's a blood elf, but they get to have cool, mystical blue skins. We all know blue is my favorite color. Is that being biased? Yes. Is it fair for the Void Elf? Absolutely. All bias needed, okay? No if, ands, or buts about it. It's it's a little elf who's blue instead, aight? Yeah, you know I mean? Come on, dude. Stop. Stop. Because some of you right now are saying, how are they near perfect? All they are is a Blood Elf. Exactly. Come on, man. Next up, we got... <laughs> the Light Forge Draenei. If I'm gonna keep it a honey with y'all, they solid. Oh, they're solid. Not quite as cool as the regular Draenei, if I have to be honest. Now, the reason being is because though they have amazing customization, the there's something just more, you know, the simplistic theme of the regular Draenei. In comparison, are they bad? Of course not. I put them in solid. Would I create a Light Forge over a regular? No. Light Forge are great though. Don't get me wrong. They are great. You know what I'm saying? Uh, honestly, another thing I need to do here if I'm gonna keep it on honey. Uh, I think we gotta move the troll up one, and then put the Zandalar troll there instead. Zandalar trolls are cool. They're great. They're pretty fair. Would I create one? Absolutely. I got two or three of them. However, they're not nearly as neat, clean, and simple as the regular troll. So actually, yeah, we're going to have to move the regular troll up to not bad. Because I like the trolls. I've always liked the trolls since, since the dawn of time. If I'm not mistaken, the second Horty character I ever created was a male troll with a big old red mohawk. They're pretty freaking great. They're not bad at all. Next up, we got Kaltiran. Kaltiran, I ain't gonna lie. When they, when BFA had first dropped and when I found out that we got to play the Kaltiran, this was before they really showed us what they looked like. They were just kind of like talking about it. I'm like, oh shoot, a new human race. Sick, right? But once they actually dropped, the Kaltiran has a bit of an issue. They cool. I like the female Kaltiran more than the male Kaltiran, but the problem I have with the Kaltiran as a whole, they don't fit a lot of gear that well. As as a swag 
as a swag master, okay, I struggle to stylize the Kaltiran sometimes because certain, a lot of gear just looks kind of odd on them. They're big and bulky, even sometimes, you know, even rivaling the size of that of a Draenei male, you know, the refrigerator. But somehow the shoulders are smaller, the gloves are smaller, and the legs are smaller. You know how when you get the, the, the big bolt uh, gloves and big bolt boots, they're smaller. And it's like, how does that make sense? But then I forget that the Draenei is the Draenei and the Kaltiran is the Kaltiran. Is that going to hurt a lot of people's feelings? Unfortunately, yes. And don't get me wrong, the Kaltiran is cool. I got like one or two of them. No, one. No, two. I got two of them. Okay, they are cool, and once you can figure out a style for them, boom, they work. But honestly, no, nah, I can't put them in the I can't put them in the same category as the, the Warjin. Yeah, no, nah, I can't put them in the same category as the Warjin. That's crazy. That's crazy. I play a I play a Kaltiran long before I play a Warjin. As a matter of fact, we're gonna have to move the Warjin down. I'm gonna keep it on it. Uh, <laughs> They're all right, but you're not going to see me playing a Wargen unless I ain't got no choice for transmog purposes. I'm sorry, Wargen lovers, but I had to bring them down and I had to put the Kaltiran up. You know what I'm saying? It was a little disrespectful. I know my fault, Kaltiran players. I'm sorry, Wargen players, but the Wargen just, it's just kind of weird. Uh, Kaltiran, on the other hand, you just got to learn how to swag them and they'll work a little better. You know what I'm saying? Next up, we got the Dark Iron Dwarves. Uh, if I'm gonna keep it a hundo with you, the Dark Iron Dwarves are pretty dang great. I got a few of them, and I've had some in the past before Dark Iron Dwarves were even an option. Okay, Dark Iron Joe, uh, uh, 2017, 2018, uh, on a, on a private server called RPH Wild. Dark Iron Dwarves are great. They got great customization, and they match to a lot of gear. They're just swaggy little dwarves. Okay, simple as that. Simple as that. I mean, there's nothing else I can say. They're the Dark Iron. Next up, we have the Vulpira. The Vulpira, man, if I got to keep it a hundred with y'all, they are just as disgusting as the fucking pandas. Y'all really thought they was going to go up next to the Night Elf? That's crazy if you honestly believed that that would be next to that. You... <laughs> ain't no way. You thought this wouldn't be next to this and underneath that, right? If you believed for a second that this could float its way, it started falling right back to the bottom. Come on, man, don't play. <laughs> Look, next up we got the Maghar Orcs. Simple as that, dude. They solid. I freaking love the Maghar Orcs. Their customization, the ability to make the freaking the Black Hand uh, Orcs. Uh, the Warsong Orcs, the Halloween, uh, what is it, Halloween Blood Orcs, all those crazy Orcs. Solid as fuck, dude. I got a few of these fools. And guess what? One of each. Maghar, a uh, Halloween Blood, whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> Warsong, and, and the fucking, the, 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 the Dark Iron Orcs, dude. I got all of them. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. They, they cool as fuck. Next up, we got the Mechanarns gnomes. I right, disgusting. Get them the fuck out of here. I'll play a regular gnome before I play one of those things. Awful, awful, awful. You took a stupid looking character and made them look even worse. How you pull that off, Blizzard? Uh, and anybody playing these things, you have issues, okay? You have issues. All right? Simple as that, dude. Simple. <laughs> Next up, we got the Drak Thier. All right, for the Drak Thier, this is it's a tough one because they're two different races, much like the Wargen, but better. Here's how: well, in dragon form, they're right next to the gnome. In dragon form, they're right next to the gnome. Big, goofy-looking dragon, big body dragon with a little face. Not scared of his bite force because he ain't got one with that little bitty jaw. The fuck, but. If you put them in human form, oh, they're great, dude. They're immaculate. The customization, magnifical. Okay, the 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 the, the freaking the jewelry, the eye colors, the hair colors, the yo, son, son. I should have honestly, I should have did two pictures. 
one of a humanoid drag deer and one of a regular drag okay if you keep them in humanoid form near perfect you put them in dragon form awful therefore that puts them dead center if they didn't have to suffer that hideous dragon form and you could keep them in human form they'd be near perfect they'd be right up there with the blood elves the drain eye and the void elf okay customization is superb the coloring of the undergarments that you can use to match to your transmog the jewelry everything fire but because they're stuck in this dragon form whenever you cast now i know what you're thinking right well most people wouldn't think this unless you're a role player if you're a role player oh there's probably no problem for you you can keep your character in the human dragon form at all times problem is for us raiders and pvpers we have to see that nasty looking thing okay for us pvpers we hit one ability boom we're a dragon for the raiders you hit one ability boom you're the dragon for you rpers you get the best one of the best looking fucking characters in the game dude so if we count the human and the dragon form it's meh if we're counting the dragon form disgusting if we're counting the human form near perfect dude great customization therefore we'll sit them right there in the middle because as a pvp -er, i have to look at both <laughs> next up we got the earthrim dwarves if i'm gonna keep it a hundo with y'all they're solid as fuck they got amazing customization i mean look at the face that's the one that's that i customized that that's not even a normal icon <laughs> they're solid as fuck dude great customization mad skin tones because they're made out of rock and elementiums and stuff mad hairstyles uh, uh you could do no eyebrows or eyebrows they got freaking jewelry that's natural because it comes out of their freaking uh mineral skin all right they got immaculate customization and we haven't even seen their full customization yet i think that's the crazy part okay and then lastly we have the thick elves all right the horonirs i have no clue what they're supposed to be yet because they're likely going to come in the later expand or uh, one of the other two expansions i don't think they're coming with war within hopefully they do that'd be great but if they're not they're more than likely going to come to the second or third expansion so far just off the little bit of customization we've been able to see for the thick elves and shoot you already know dude you already know dude simple as that there was no other way to put it Oop, i'll put it too far down out there boom there's no other way to put it dude they have immaculate customization great facial options they're literally night elves but a little thicker <laughs> that being said folks oh yeah and they rock gear very well just like the night elves themselves i mean they're on the same model so i guess you can't be too surprised one is just slim the other's just a little thick you know what i mean that being said folks that is my tier list and how i think of all the races here in warcraft if you agree let me know if you disagree tell me where you disagree tell me where you agree i would say overall pretty dang solid all right pretty solid although I, i'm thinking a lot of people would probably put blood elf and void elf and best ever and night elf and thick elf in near perfect or maybe human and best ever. I don't know. It, it, it all depends on you. But for me, this right here, pretty dang good. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking at it. This is exactly how I feel about it. Would I play a gnome? Only if the option is against these three. Would I play a goblin or a wargen? Only if the option is this. Okay. Would I play a drag there? absolutely just i'll just keep them in human form most of the time <laughs> that being said folks it has been your boy if you enjoyed this video that's good if you didn't enjoy this video that's good either way you watched it make sure you like comment subscribe notification bell share with your people join the legendary clan support the channel become legendary i'm out legendary. Legendary.